is a lab. We are going to sniff and smooth on the packets. This lab is revised from seed 2.0. Packet sniffing and smoothing lab. We are only going to complete a lab task set 1 using skipping to sniff and spoof packets. Here is an official description. You can scroll down to open this description, the lab manual. We also need to set up the lab environment with this lab setup file. Too. If you have any questions with the Docker container, please go to this uh, Docker manual. Here is a Docker Compose. We need Docker Compose to build the image. Bring up the container, bring down the container, and so on. Follow the description in the level menu. How to set up the lab environment. Here is the sub-network we are going to use. The attacker and the two hosts on the same sub-network. The attacker will just um, sniff and spoof the packets from A to B or A to outside the world. And then set up the commands. Since some of you are using a seed virtual machine from our last uh, course at S450, you may have running containers to avoid conflicts. We need to stop and uh, remove those uh, containers first. Block a container list but for later we are list out uh, running containers because I just cleaned all the containers that's why you see no containers here some of you may see containers and run uh, ls or for those uh, containers stopped that we are not show up this one it only shows the running containers you dash a to show uh, all containers, including those uh, stopped containers. In my washing machine, I already cleaned them. So if you have, you need this command to, to stop Docker container to stop all your uh, burning containers first. this command to stop all containers including those uh, stopped containers or include all running containers at this place show those uh, containers here it says it requires at least one argument because uh, I don't have running uh, containers in your case if you have they will be stopped once you stopped all running containers, right, see here, stop one or more running containers. Then you can uh, remove all those containers.
containers. I don't have any containers uh, left. So then you can use this one to list all the containers, which means you can write like this. I'm ready to uh, bring out the containers. Build the image, bring out the containers. DC build. I'm inside the left side of this place. DC up. Okay, three containers are running. And a new tab, block PS. And you see attack host A and host B. Now let's open two new tabs. One for the attacker, the other one for the host A. attacker you may use a container ID or use a container name is up to you open a shell I'm inside the attacker host A Here is inside the uh, host A. Here in the attacker, you see a uh, volume. The volume is a shared folder with the uh, host machine and this place. So you can add the code here, put it here, you will see them inside your attacker container. The environment is uh, set up about the attack container, the shared folder, and it's running in host mode. Host mode, which means it share all the uh, AIC, the internet interface call with the host, as we demonstrated uh, during the lecture. Getting the network interface name, I use IF configure to find it. Inside the attack container, find that one with the BR, start with the BR. This one, this is the interface, the attack container also interfaced into the sub network actually you see these interfaces there are the interfaces of our host for example this EMP0 S3 okay we need to uh, note down this interface name we will use it later in our code Task one, using Scapy to sniff and spoof pack package. You may write in script or just run it uh, interactively. In the attacker, we can run interactive type Scapy. You will see this Scapy. How to use Scapy? Go to his uh, official website here. 
let's run in our compiled website. You can see it's Scapy official website. Go to the documentation to see how to use it. Here it is how to use the Scapy. Then use it. Start Scapy. See this uh, interface like this. For further details, please uh, refer to this uh, documentation. Now let's uh, type this code interactively. So I need to resize it. Here is a uh, this line you need it in code in script file. Interactive, I can just type this code. Create an AIP object. Show this object. See the default value. So this is the default IP object type object with default values. Now let's uh, write in a script file and provide template to save your time because you copy this code from PDF file and paste in your text editor some uh, characters could cause trouble. So here is a template. I'll copy from this template. The task 1.1. Let's put it in the volumes. Edit volumes touch template Can we paste it here? Can you save it? Okay, we create a start file. Touch start dot pi. Copy it. Paste it here. the code here. Right, we have this line, the shipman line. Import the functions and objects from this escape.org. Then equals IP, create an IP object. Show all its fields. Let's save it. You can run it like this Python 3. It use my code.py. I name it as start.py. Go to your attacker container. Here, the attacker container. Here. Now we can uh, quit this uh, interactive CP. Ctrl D. Quit Go to volumes. Then we have a start dot pi. It's a good idea to copy those code to uh, your home folder and run it. I don't know whether we have trouble running from the shared folder. 
and type python3 start.py get the identical result here it just show the IP object with the default values in all its fields or we can make the executable start.py now you see uh, it is not executable oops ls dash l is changed to executable this dot but uh, is a color didn't show didn't highlight not like in the host in the host it's uh, here is in the host and have an area you see it's highlight with green color is executable that only one right in the attack container can run it, start up pipe, get the same result. There are two ways to run it. Or we can run interactively in Python 3, like this. I want to run in one interactive way, the scapy. Just run scapy. Here, let's uh, try this way Python 3. In the Python, Interactive console on escape down or import everything. Create an IP object. And we get a identical result. I just demonstrate a two interactive way and a two uh, home online. Control D. To create it. Okay, now we are ready to complete all these tasks. Task 1.1 sniffing package. Here is this uh, simple code. I want the uh, type in uh, template. Right, the task 1.1. Exactly as that one. So let's uh, copy and uh, copy it into a new file. Can you see? Now I would like to uh, create uh, in the host. Create four files. Touch task one point one. We can use this syntax. That way, we have four tasks. one point one to one point four this is a curly brackets extension let you see it has one point one one point two one point three and so on. can open all this uh, that's one point one Ctrl V paste the code here and I save it as we uh, emphasized during the setup of the environment we need to change this interface here we need to change the interface to ours you may specify uh, several interfaces to sniff packages on multiple interfaces we are only interested in the attacker's interface. So the attacker's interface scroll up, see the interface over there. This one. Place here, yours may be different, so please use yours. And let's save it. Here we only sniff ICMP packets. Every time we 
get an SMP pack, we will print out. Just show it. And that's 1.1. 1.1. 1A with this one we run it uh, in two ways first run program with uh, load privilege second run with uh, normal user without load privilege here uh, is run in the, the pack uh, container Yeah, uh, pack container. CH mode A plus X task one dot one dot pi. Here they use sniffer dot so it's up to you. Use uh, any name you want. Not the first way. Task one by one or pi. Run the program with a root privilege by default. I'm root in the attack container. Here it says there are some uh, mistakes. Line three, syntax error. Line three. This line need to put at the beginning. Save it. Make sure you save it and run it again. Okay, now it's a sniffing. It is sniff ICMP pack. We need to generate ICMP pack. So we can form this uh, host A to ping host B. 1.0.6 is host B. Ctrl C stop. We send two uh, packets. Zero packs lost. Two transmitted, two received. In the term. Did you see it? We got. Uh, the package, but it's not easy to see it clearly. Yeah, then sniff task one dot one. Right? Get this package. And there's a MAC address. Or you can see it as uh, the link layer, IP layer, then the TCP layer. We use SMP in the air code request. Or you can see all the raw data. Then we get another one. One more. One more. So maybe we can add a counter. Is still running, so you can type Ctrl C to stop it. Ctrl C stopped. So in the code, you may uh, add something. For example, add a counter. Number of packets at the beginning equals zero. Here we will show. Oops. Packet, which packet are we received or sniffed? Non packets. Uh, 
necessary. And now here it says switch to the seed account and run it. Here, let me show you why the attacker. I will switch to seed. Then we run that task one dollar one dot pi. We get an error. It says uh, version not permitted. So this is what we observed. In order to sniff packs, we need a root privilege. So we can exit to root. And run it again. That's one dot one dot pi. Okay. Go to your host A. Paint again. Come C. Stop. To transmit to received, which means there are four packets. Before assignment, I have a problem here. Number X plus equals one. Referenced before assignment. Here it looks like uh, this is not uh, the way to pass this value into this. Uh, function we need a uh, global variables so how could we pass a global variable to a callback function let's uh, copy it Python static variable similar to C language here static class we want static variable how to declare a static variable in a function in Python Yeah, we need a class. Could I just use a variable without a function? And write like this. My func dot count plus equals one. And uh, here make the start uh, from zero so this is a way we use it in uh, Python and uh, global variable does not work so we can add this reference and see to our code so we need to write like this Save it. Now we run it again in the attacker container. Okay, it's running. Now let's uh, send out a pull package. Control C, stop to transmit to received. Non package is not defined. Oops, I didn't change it here. Saved. Uh, 
Okay, now we see the sniffed package. Packet 4. Four package. One point one B. Sometimes a package. We need this BPF uh, Berkeley packet field to field to the package. Capture only the ICMP packet. 1.1 this is a SMP packet. Next, capture TCP packet that comes from a particular IP and with a destination port number 23. For the DPF field syntax, as a regular cheat sheet. Uh, we can find this cheat sheet, sheet to specify the field order. This one capture only SMP packet. Capture any uh, TCP packet. Oops. Yeah. Can you see? Can we paste here? We change the field. Here, any TCP packet. We specify like the TCP. We can use the and, uh, and or not the stuff. Source, destination, host, and the port. TCP. TCP and from a particular IP with a destination port number. So particular IP for the host for by IP address. Let's say from our host A. Host A is ten dot nine dot zero dot five and uh, port number. Twenty-three. Can you save it? Now, how do we generate this uh, TCP packet from this host with port number twenty-three? What service? The typical service run on port number 23. We can get a list of uh, to the port number. TCP port number port on Wikipedia. Scroll down 23 Telnet protocol. So we can use Telnet, for example, Telnet 2A from host B. I would like to add the reference put here. Save reference. And save it. Okay, now let's run this uh, program.
uh, inside the uh, attacker container. Oh, when you stop this one, can you see? Stop it. Then run it. Maybe a little bit better open a host B, so we can turn it into a host A from host B, like that. So open a new tab. Docker share the host B. Here is the host B. Host B, we can just type a seven is sufficient. Yours may be different, so you, either you copy the whole ID or its name. Uh, this is a host B, this is host A, and this is an attacker. Uh, let's run the attacker sniff package, then from host B, tell net to host A. Host A is IP address, is 10.9.0.5. Login. Login as a seed. Password DES. And you see I logged in to a host A. In this attacker, we didn't get a package. So now let's see what's the problem. 10.9.0.6 port 10 three. TCP So let's check the syntax source destination. So we write like this protocol direction type. Do I need the uh, end? Here is uh, this uh, end destination port, destination uh, host, like that. Is the port internet. Okay, we use uh, this end, this all. Can you ask save it? Task Ctrl C stop it. Oops. I didn't press enter. I didn't want it at all. Ctrl D. Ctrl C. Okay. Run it. You just type anything. Hello, actually, let's type ls. We still get nothing. We have a host. Uh, do I need that and symbol? Source host.
come from come from a particular IP so which means is a source come from means the source source for the uh, source host for the for that IP any TCP packs with a destination port number 23 so I'm, I didn't didn't write the right source host and a destination port TST destination port so the source let's say uh, come from host B to host A right? like this source destination port TCP and let's save it Uh, control C to stop it. Well, it will type twice. I didn't capture anything. Uh, control D. Exit and turn that again. Connect to that one. Source host destination port TCP. Oops, the problem is here. I didn't comment out this line. Sorry about that. Connor save it. Connor C. This may be the reason why I need to uh, Connor C twice. There are two sniff functions. Login as C. Hello, yes. Okay, now we get the package. Here you can see a uh, pack 19. There's so many packets uh, captured. Terminal packets. You can check one source from this one destination to our host uh, A. Source is the host B. Port number. Port number. You need to check the TCP. Source port number, destination port number, turn out, turn out 23. So we got this one. Okay, now let's uh, stop it and find the field. Control C, no, this time I only need to uh, control C once. So this time let's remember, comment out first. Last of what I need to do. Here is the last field. I'm going to Comes from or go to to go to that go to. Go to a particular subnet. Let's pick this one, such as this one. Pick subnet that your VM is uh, attached to. So you need to uh, make clear what the virtual machine's subnet. For example, mine. You can always check from your host or from the attacker. We know the attacker share the interfaces with the host. IF configure my my virtual machine is this one is ten dot twenty dot thirty dot so this is a 
is subnet. Subnet is this one. Kind of can you set it as your so yours may be different. So make sure you don't uh, choose the subnet that your virtual machine attached to. Make sure it's not this one. I choose this one because it's different from mine. Right now, how do we specify subnet? Check the sheet. Subnet. Here. Uh, source net. So we can use a just net, which means it is both source and uh, host. Just net. Here we specify net. Here is a source net. Now I just choose net, which means both the source and the destination. Can you ask, save it? Now let's run it in the attacker container. I have error. So the subnet is not specified like this. I didn't Saving file. Just saved. Went again. Okay, it's running. Now, how do we uh, generate a pack to go to this place? We can uh, use a pin, for example, from a host uh, B. Can the host B internally? into a host A, that is an uh, exit. Okay, we come back to host B, we can pin. The location in the subnet. Consist, stop it. Uh, you see we pass an SMP package to this uh, destination. This one I just uh, pin here. Okay, that's it. This is for task one dot one b three subtasks. Uh, one point four spoofing SMP package. Spoofing SMP package. Here it uh, show the default values for its fields. So this uh, looks uh, how do we uh, get? We can use the uh, wire shock to capture it to capture spoof the packet. We uh, use wire shock to observe. So let's uh, copy the code from the template. Task 1.2. Again, the first line, meet with this one. Uh, this is uh, a LIS uh, uh, print out first, then we send out like this. And the destination, let's choose an a interesting destination, for example. Okay, save. Now go to uh, the attacker 
container. It is my attack. I need to stop the previous one. Can you see? Stop it. First, change mode A plus X. Task 1.2.py. Before we run it, we need to start up Wireshark. Okay, we need to uh, sniff from this uh, interface. Right? And uh, enter capture field host 1.2.3 buffer. Press enter. Now, inside uh, this uh, attack container, we run this task. One point two dollar pie. Okay, send one package. Is send out source is this one. Destination is this one. We didn't uh, capture this. Okay. This is uh, the virtual machine's IP address. So I didn't get it. Could we just send out the interface from the interface we are sniffing on? We want to send. Could I send specify the interface? You can check the document of this send function. I just have a guess. I freeze and say. Guess from here, her face. And let's save it. Then run it again. I still didn't uh, capture it. So I have a destination field with 1.2.3.4 It'll send out from this uh, this one It's ok, we can, we can uh, capture the other uh, interface But I wonder why I cannot capture the packet send out from the attacker's interface uh, here in my code, I changed it to a uh, attacker's interface. Saving files, I think I saved it. I still, get, still didn't get it. So another way we can say escapey let's see escapey send from interface use i phrase equal something let's send p To use I phrase, my guess is right. right. I phrase is this one. Send out this uh, packet. And my wire shock is sniffing on that uh, interface here. Let's uh, get rid of that host. Send out the package. No, it still cannot uh, 
get it the source this source shows this is this is not that uh, interface not this interface we know that interface is this one so it uh, comes out from this one That one I need to specify the host because you see there are many packs happening right now. Press enter. Oops, sorry. Send out again. Now this time you see the source and the destination. SMP, we get it. But I wonder why it. I cannot capture from there. The reason is uh, this sent even though I use this uh, interface, but it sent out use another one. So which one is the send function? Bluetooth. Send and receive packets. Okay, another way in order to send uh, from that interface, we know that interface is uh, inside, is used to attach the sub network. So we can. Uh, Here I run from the attacker ICMP destination. Maybe we can change this destination to other IP address. I don't know. I, I, I will uh, Google and uh, find the solution later. So far, we are sufficient. Uh, complete this one, spoofing SMP packets we complete this uh, task so that uh, why I cannot s sniff that uh, bridge interface I will check it later so we completed uh, task 1.2 and also you can see its uh, structures here Not the storage and this out here so you can check by yourself. Do this uh, carefully. Trace root. Here we are going to create a small program to mimic the behavior of trace root using this uh, time to live field set to one first to next and so uh, until we get to a uh, target here the target of it so we what target uh, we want we can also use a wire shock to record it one point three template 
Okay, in 1.3, when we check the menu, we send out. We also need to uh, receive the information. We can find a template code from our lecture. Our lecture have a complete code for send and receive. We create a SMP package task three. Create SMP package. The destination, let's choose the famous DNS server 8.8.8 or dot four dot four is up to you. Here I ask you to choose a dot four dot four. SMP we want to send and receive. We just send. Send and receive just one answer. One receive one answer. We send out the SMP packet. The complete packet constructed like this. We also want to get the answer. Answer. Then we can uh, print out the the answer. For example, uh, the source. So what is source? A source. Save it. Here the TDL uh, it says we run from uh, one, two, three, four, and so on until we reach to this uh, destination. So how do we change this one? We can define a function, right? Then we run it interactively, or we can use a system uh, argument to pass an argument from the command line to this place. So we have two ways. It's up to you to choose uh, one way. We we need to import uh, escape dot all and buy everything to get parameters or arguments from command line. We need sys. And replace this uh, three to uh, sys dot arc v one, and we want to convert it uh, to integer. No parameters from command line; they are all strings, so convert it into integer. So, so this way we can pass a parameter to our script. Let's save it. This uh, source is a uh, can check that one. Router so can choose a router dot source. The the router give us a reply. Send us an SMP error message and we print out its uh, source or print out the so the router's IP. I uh, already saved it. Now let's uh, run it. First, make it executable. One three. Papa. 
start from one here this is two packs got one answer and you see the source is loaded here is a load of my virtual machine two now this router for my physical machine so yours may be different sorry this one is, is a campus router for I think it's still in a campus file Need a fifteen hops to get this uh, get to this eight dot eight dot four dot four. Yours may be different. So you may run interactively by create a function. But you can create a function in your in, uh, in the directive uh, environment, I just typed here for your reference. Let's say just quite a uh, jump and with a parameter GTL. So you can type this function inside your Python environment variable or scapy environment variable. Then run this function jump one, jump two, jump three, jump four, and so on. The last uh, task, task 1.4. Sniffing then spoofing. Okay. Template one point four. We don't have code from this uh, lab menu but we do have code we demonstrated during our lecture so go to our lecture or you can go to seed book code to find or my code or revised from seed book code Oops, the lecture. Here it is uh, Scapy. Sniff spoof MP. This code is a uh, modified, you can use the directory. I would like to show you to construct this uh, code. Come and see. 1.4. the 
fazer lá. This is spoof function. Sniff and print out SMP echo request packet. We explained during the lecture. Press Shift tab. Here's a filter. We need to set up a filter. What filter we need? We need to capture these uh, packets. Right? So the source we can choose the source host as this. Source host for the first one is uh, one, two, three, four. Here to print out the filter does not matter. Then we sniff and print out. The sniff the packet, then we uh, spoof uh, SMP echo reply packet, print out and send out. Here we need to specify that uh, face, uh, I face equals. That's our uh, task uh, 1.3. Oops. The face here. The internet face. Saving file. Okay, it's saved. And when run wire shock to a uh, to record it here, do we need a run uh, right shock here? So it's up to you to run right shock or not. This one is a non existing host on the internet. So we ping from host A. Sniff and spoof on the attack container. We make the last task script to be executable. Then we run it. Sniff is uh, not defined. I didn't import those uh, library. So I needed a library. Uh, 
make sure you save it okay it's running now from uh, this uh, host A ping 1.2.3.4 I didn't because that does not exist. I didn't get anything. It's suppose we should get a spoofed uh, response, right? But when you check here, it didn't print out anything, which means it didn't uh, sniff any uh, packet. Even though here I'm sending out the SMP packet from this host uh, A. So let's see what the problem happened here. The IFS created a SMP and a source host. So this problem is not source host. The source host is a uh, container A, host A. Now we just use host 1.2.3.4 and let's save it. And I rerun it, Kunya C, stop it. Alright, now you see we have we sniffed some packets. And on the client side, on the host A, we get a response. Let's stop it, Kunya C, stop it. So we have so many transmitted and so many are received. So let's run it again. Because those previous one we didn't, we don't have spoof packets, so those one are missed. Now, here it received uh, sixteen uh, spoofed packets. Right here, you can see spoof packet. Spoof packet. Maybe you can uh, add a counter, as we did before, to get an idea how many uh, spoofed packet we generated. Then you, you see whether you match uh, the 16 or not. So in this case, for this non-existent uh, IP address, I get this uh, spoofed uh, package. So this is the first case. Let's stop it. Can you see? Stop it. The second case. This address is non existing host on the local area network. On the sub network we set up at the beginning. Let's use this one. So you can, uh, can you see, make a record here. Yeah, good idea. Ten dot nine dot zero dot ninety nine or any uh, IP other than that five six and one not necessary nine nine but uh, we just use nine nine as it required in the lab. Connor is uh, saved. Okay, now let's run uh, again. Run the if and uh, spoof first in the target in the uh, attacker then go to host A this time we pin that non-existent non uh, IP it says uh, destination host unreachable let's stop it on C 10 packets transmitted, received 0. And the attacker has sniffed nothing. Right? So, why is that? Let's see, stop it. As it says, you need to understand uh, how ARP protocol works in order to correctly explain your observation. For this case, for this case, this one 
the map exists on the local uh, uh, network. So there is no MAC address. Since uh, no MAC address is uh, the no record of the mapping from MAC address to this IP address. So when we print the SMP packet cannot be created without that mapping. So that's why we get this uh, result. That's nation host and Richard and we sniffed nothing. You know SMP packet is sent out. Now for this uh, last one, existing host on the internet. In this case, we should be able to receive two uh, replies. One from this uh, real host, the other one from our spoofed package. Spoofed package. I uh, remember comment out this one. Eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. Con S, save it. Alright, done. Now let's uh, run in the target, or in the uh, attacker, sorry. Just press enter to make it uh, clearer. Run it. Then in this uh, host A, this time we pin it. 8.8.8.8.8 Conor C stop it Here we also use Conor C to stop it Now Here the transmit file pack and receive the file pack is still lost Do you think these are all from our uh, fake uh, packet? You can check here. The original packet, the spoofed packet, how many spoofed packets do we generate? One spoof packet. Two. Four file file spoofed packet here file received it looks like it all received those uh, spoofed uh, packet that's a real real response from this uh, real host we, we didn't get it we only get the spoofed one uh, how could we get a real and a spoofed one mixed together? For example, when I stop uh, the sniffing and spoofing, here is uh, is already stopped. Right? Post a. We can pin the real one. Okay, you see the real one cannot be a uh, Richard. That's why I didn't get a response from the real one. So let's kind of see, stop it. We try this for the for try this one. Okay, for this one, we can receive response from the real host who are transmitted for received. Now let's change this uh, code to 8.8.4.4. Control S, save it. Okay, it's done. Now let's uh, run the 
sniff and spoof again. So this time we suppose to get two response, one from the spoof spoof uh, package, the other one from the real host. Yeah, see a dip, 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 dip. Control C stop. Yeah, Control C stop. Duplicate, which means uh, one from the. We don't know which one is from the. The dip from the real one or, or this one from the real one. You can check the TDL. The small one. Uh, from from a uh, spoof the spoof one you can count the number the spoofed packs and uh, compare the number of this dupe how many dupe we get here five dupes So which means here we have file spoofed packet. One, two. Okay, we complete uh, all these uh, tasks. Now let's uh, shut down this uh, container. Tap Ctrl D to quit it. Ctrl D again. 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 Now here. Oops. Ctrl D again. You have two ways. You can type Ctrl C here, or in another open a new tab, type DC down. Stopping the host. Stopping the uh, containers. And they are also removed. Now you have a clean in